the next topic is uh, within in the deliberate circular references um, is recursive equations. A recursive equation is an equation in which x appears on both sides, both on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Uh, to give a couple of examples, um, we might say um, x is equal to 1 divided by x plus 2, um, such that we have x on the left-hand side of the equal sign and on the right-hand side of the equal sign. And we, we will try to find the value of x such that this equation is satisfied. Um, the, another example, um, x is equal to the cosine of x that has x on both sides. And the third example, x is equal to the square root of uh, x um, plus 3. And so we try to find some value of x that this is true, or true enough. Uh, you could look up on Google or Wikipedia recursive equations to get some kind of a feel for, um, first of all, to get other examples of this and to see where they're useful. Um, but assuming that we have these kinds of recursive equations with x on both sides, uh, I'm going to discuss how you could get Excel uh, to solve it using uh, intentional uh, circular references. So firstly, just a little bit about the settings. We go to Tools, Options, and on the Calculation tab, see I set Iteration, uh, that check mark, uh, to be, checkbox to be checked off. And I turned the maximum iteration, in this case, to be 1. Uh, usually it says 100 there, but I would like to, every single time when I calculate it, find the next iteration, the next iteration, the next iteration. Secondly, in terms of the calculation, instead of having it be automatic, I set it to manual. Um, I'd like it to be manual, that way every time I press F9, it will recalculate and do the next iteration. Uh, this is just to show how we converge to some kind of final value. So, uh, that's just a little bit about the settings. Let's try doing this now. Uh, what we're going to do, since these formulas, since these, uh, I mean, since these uh, equations are all in the form x equals, um, etc., um, what we're going to do is we'll just start here with the equal sign. And, um, what I'm really doing here, there's an implicit x over here, because um, a1 is uh, over a1. a1 is the value that I'm trying to calculate, and then if I refer to a1 uh, within the formula, so. It's as if I have a1 on this side, and on the uh, left-hand side, and on the right-hand side of the equal signs. It's as if I'm saying that a1 is equal to some kind of formula that eventually has a1 in it. In fact, what I'm doing here is I'm just having this equal sign, and the a1 is implicit because um, it's uh, within... Uh, it's, it's implicit because that's the value I'm assigning, uh, that I'm putting within this cell, and I'm also going to refer to a1 later on. So I'm just going to say equals. And then I'm just going to copy this formula that I have here. Equals 1 divided by a1 plus 2. a1 plus 2. And thus I have an a1 here, and I have an a1 the, uh, on the other side of the equal sign, because that's where I'm, what I'm putting into the cell. So it's as if I said x is equal to 1 divided by x plus 2. And I press Enter. Um, and I end up with... Uh, 0 0.5. Uh, the reason for this is that we started with a seed of 0, and so since we started with a seed of 0, the value of a1 was originally assumed to be 0 in here, so looking at this formula, the value that I'm going to put in this first iteration in cell a1 is 1 divided by 0 plus 2. 1 divided by 0 plus 2, well 0 plus 2 is 2, so 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So that's the first iteration there. Uh, now I'm going to press F9, and it's going to uh, it's going to calculate once again um, the next value of this. In other words, it's going to take the 0 0.5, stuff that into this x over here, and it's going to uh, figure out what 1 divided by x plus 2 is again. So that then is going to be 1 divided by uh, 0.5 plus 2. So instead of dividing 1 by 2, we're going to be dividing 1 by 2.5. Um, so I'm going to press F9, and there we get 
0.4. So now I'm going to calculate 1 divided by uh, 0 0.4 plus 2. So in other words, 1 divided by 2.4. Um, so equals 1 divided by 2.4. That's what we're essentially going to do at the next calculation. And so we're going to get something like 0 0.41667. Let's see this. I'm going to press F9. And I get, sure enough, 0 0.41667. Uh, so now, uh, the next time, I'm going to take uh, 1 divided by 2 plus this x, divided by this 4.1667. Uh, so let's do that. So what, what's going to be the value of 1 divided by 2.41667? So that's going to give me 0 0.41379. So I'm going to press F9 now, and this value is going to be recalculated. So now I'm going to get four, uh, 0 0.41379. So what is 1 divided by 2.41379? And that's going to give me, oops, we should say an equal sign over here, so that it's a calculated thing. And we get... 0 0.41429. So let's press F9. We're going to calculate it. And sure enough, this value is going to become this value. See? 41429. So to calculate again, what is 1 uh, equals 1 divided by 2, right? Because we're always adding the 2 to this x. 2.41429. And we get 0 0.4142. I press F9, and um, F9, and we get 0 0.4142. And every single time I iterate, it's going to go there. So now this is uh, equals one divided by 2.4142, and I get this number uh, 0 0.41422. Press F9, and sure enough, we get that. Um, equals uh, 1 divided by 2.41422 and 0 0.41421. So it's just changing this digit over here now. So I press F9, and sure enough, that's how it's changed. Equals 0. Four, uh, zero, equals 1 divided by 2.41421 and it stayed the same. So if I press F9, it stays the same, stays the same, stays the same. Every time I press F9, it's staying the same. Um, because the change is either arrived at some kind of result or the change is not really um, that different from the previous one. So at that point, really, the iteration knows to stop. You see over here, in iteration, each time we have some kind of maximum iteration, or when the maximum change over here is a difference of uh, 0 0.001. And here, uh, there is no such change between one and the previous. It's going to uh, settle on that number. Um, and so now the question is, is it true that 0 0.41421 is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.41421 plus 2. Well, let's see. What is uh, x? Well, x is going to be the 0 0.41421. What is 1 divided by x plus 2? Well, we just saw. But we'll do it again. Um, equals 1 divided by 2 plus 0 0.41421 which is basically the same as saying 2.41421, and in fact, we end up with the same number. So thus, we've solved this recursive uh, equation uh, to get that number. Very good. So let's get rid of this now, and we'll just quickly do the other examples here. So x equals cosine of x. So uh, we'll say over here, for a2, a2 is going to be equal to cosine of a2. And I press enter, so we start out with 1, uh, just because we really start out with 0, and th that's going to give us a 1 here. I'm going to press F9 to calculate. Calculate, 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 and I'll keep on pressing this until we arrive 
so we're narrowing it down until we arrive at some number 0 0.73909 um, and similarly x equals square root of x plus 3 we'll say here um, equals uh, the square root of a3 plus 3 and so we start out with this number and we press f9, f9, f9 we keep on pressing f9 until we arrive at some number and in fact, we could check, is 2.30278, is that equal to the square root of x plus 3? Let's see, what is, we'll say equals square root of 2.30278 uh, plus 3. And in fact, we get the same number. So by this repeated iteration, we finally arrive at uh, a good result. Now, in certain cases, we're going to end up with uh, recursive equations that will just bomb on us. It's not going to calculate correctly. To give you an example of this, let's say we're going to have x is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by x. So we're going to write that formula over here. Equals... Uh, so x is already taken care of, that's the formula, that's the cell itself, is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by a4. And I press enter, and it says a problem divide by 0. Why is that a problem of dividing by 0? Because if you remember, uh, the seed, that initial value that we start x off at, is always 0. Since it starts out at 0, uh, here we're saying that at the first time around, the first iteration, we have x is equal, what we're going to assign is 5 plus 1 divided by 0. You try to divide any number by 0, you're going to get this divide by 0 error. If you want to overcome that problem, uh, you need to create a seed that's some other number besides 0. In order to accomplish that, uh, we can't... Uh, just have a single cell for the purpose of calculating this, but instead we're going to have to put that initial C, that initial value, in some other cell. And it doesn't matter what that value is, it'll just keep on calculating it and iterating in it until uh, we get down to uh, the number that we want. So um, we're going to put a seed in a different cell, but it's not going to matter because we're going we're to still have a circular reference uh, that is going to end up referring to itself. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Now the rule is that when putting this seed, um, it has to be either to the left of the formula, in other words, some uh, so, uh, some column to the side, or it has to be above the formula. That's because of the way that these things are ordered, the way that, um, that, that Excel calculates things. So it needs to be to the left or above. So let's put this, uh, the seed we'll put over here in um, cell A7, and we'll do the calculation in B7. Um, so once again, we still want the, to calculate um, this x equals 5 plus 1 divided by x. So the seed we'll put over here, I'll put, let's say, the number 1 in here. That's non-zero. Um, and then in A2, I'm going to have the same kind of formula. I'll say equals uh, 5 plus... 5 plus 1 divided by, and now instead of saying x, which would be the cell itself, is b7, I'm going to just refer to the seed, this um, a7. But if so, that doesn't really seem to be much of a recursive equation. If you're not, we're about to put the recursion in a second. So now we have some kind of initial value, 6 calculated there. Why 6? Because 5 plus 1 divided by 7, so 1 divided by um, 1 divided by 7, well, a7, the contents of a7 is 1, so 1 divided by 1 is 1, so f this is basically 5 plus 1, which gives us 6. So we have some kind of initial value of 6 in this cell, b7. Now we go back to a1, which was the, um, which, which was the seed, and we're going to change it. We're going to say now that this is actually equal to a2. So, oh, not a2, to, it's equal to b7, sorry. So, 
Uh, now we're going to have b7 refer to a7 within his bigger formula, and we're going to have b7, uh, uh, and we're going to have a7 refer to b7. So uh, this cell is pointing to this cell, and this cell is pointing to this cell. Uh, b7 is pointing to a7, and a7 is pointing to b7. But we already got this initial calculation in b7, and we could proceed from there. So we have the six, and now I'm going to press F9 repeatedly until I find a value that satisfies the equation. F9, 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 and until it finally gets 5.1258. And just to confirm that this is true, well, what is 5 plus 1 divided by x? Right, so well, x is going to be this 5.1258. Uh, so x is on this side. And if we want to know what is the value of 5 plus 1 divided by 5.129258, sure enough, we'll get the same number, 5.19258. So this is the way that uh, we can solve, this is one way that we could solve uh, recursive equations in Excel.